Hello and welcome to Light and Life Kids. We are on week six of our gold series and this week we are checking out the tabernacle, the golden temple. So let's get started. a kangaroo I would hop right up to you and say praise the Lord hey praise the Lord if I was a caterpillar I would crawl right up to you and say praise the Lord hey praise the Lord and if I was a monkey swinging high up in a tree I'd say praise the Lord hey praise the Lord and if I was an elephant I would raise my trunk and trumpet seen a gorilla beat his chest and everyone knows a lion's made to roar so i can't help but take a massive breath and say shout it with me praise the We have got John and Chloe bringing you some classic jokes. So, get ready. What do you call a dinosaur with no eyes? Do you think he saw us? What? Do you think he saw us? Do you think he saw us? Oh. Do you think he saw us? That's a good one. And, uh, <laughs> What do you call a dinosaur with no ears? Anything you want because he can't hear you. <laughs> What's the most stressful thing about being a dragon? Trying to blow out your birthday candy. <laughs> what do you call a dog magician? A labracadabrador. <laughs> <laughs> well it's that time again it is minecraft james time yes it is and look at this portfolio we are building here golden blackpool tower golden water slide golden roller coaster golden rocket golden house golden calf the list goes on and the list carries on today we are building a golden temple solomon's temple 
Now, originally, we thought we were going to build the tabernacle, but we thought, why not build the golden temple? It's the gold series. We could build a tabernacle, which is basically a portable temple, or we could build a gold temple. And here it is. I am so excited to show you. Now, this did take a little bit of time, but it was fun. It was fun. And I'm going to show you right now. So here is the golden temple. Now, I have actually built this pretty much to scale. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the dimensions everything are in the Bible so do check them out in the Old Testament uh, but I have used some reference from some um, uh, designed photos well as photos they obviously didn't have photos at the time of the building of the temple but people have uh, artistically understood how to put it together so let me just describe what we've got here some sheep there uh, they might be used as uh, <coughs> animal sacrifices later uh, we'll talk about that too much but here, this is a big water basin for washing. <laughs> well, actually, probably shouldn't have a, have a bath in there. It's not that sort of washing. Uh, but it's to clean things. On this side, this is where they do the ritual sacrifices for um, uh, burnt offerings. So they would um, basically a big barbecue. And it smells nice. Barbecue smells very nice. Uh, and that's a little flame sort of thing there. I mean, look at the stonework. I've really worked hard on the stone because the whole point of this teaching is to help us understand the great detail that God has gone to create each and every single one of us. He has created gold in us. And just look at this temple. Look at the detail. Look at the stone on the wall. Look how it's intricately designed. And inside, look at it, the entire temple is lined with gold now if i had more time i would have started building like little things inside as it's described in the bible like pomegranates and other sort of interesting designs but as it's minecraft i've just got gold blocks so I, I can't really do too much with it but at the back here this is oh, just look at that the ceiling is lined with gold it's pretty smart pretty snazzy and at the back here is the Holy of Holies. Now, it is curtained off. We're not allowed to go in, but we can have a little sneak peek there. The Holy of Holies, as described in the Old Testament, is where the, the presence of God dwells. And this is a very, very powerful presence. And so we mustn't venture in there. Uh, read the Old Testament for more details. So King Solomon built the temple to express the glory of God. He wanted people to see visually just how spectacular, how magnificent, how incredible God is. And so by building it out of the very best materials, the very best craftsmen, you know, not even that is enough to show the fullness of the glory of God, but with human hands to be able to show it in the best way possible. And so by building this, people came to worship God People came to offer their sacrifices to him. People came to, from all over the world, to see the temple. And you see, each and every one of us, we are a temple of the Holy Spirit. We no longer need to go into the Holy of Holies to experience the presence of God. Our body is like the Holy of Holies. Because when we accept Jesus Christ into our hearts, that little curtain there, it's already torn down. The Holy Spirit comes straight into us. And because of that, it's like we are lined with gold from the inside out. How cool is that? I just think that's in, uh, just utterly mind-blowing. And how cool does it look at night as well? It's, it's really sweet, isn't it? Okay, we've got one more episode left in this gold series Tell me, what am I going to build next week? Come on, tell me something really big. So we are heading over to Hannah's house as she's come up with a creative way to learn our Bible verse. Thank you, Hannah. Good morning. It's so great to see you again today. This morning, I'm going to be doing the memory verse with you. So stay tuned and uh, see if you can remember it this week. So I have all these balloons ready here and I am going to write out the memory verse on the balloons and then hopefully 
Elise is going to help me sort them in a bit. Okay, so now I've got my balloons blown up, I'm going to start writing out the verse onto these balloons. So, ooh, can anybody remember what it starts with? It starts with four. I'm going to finish it up by writing the Bible reference. Can anybody remember where that verse is from? It's from Matthew 6.21, isn't it? So Lisa's joined me and she's going to help me collect the balloons and peg them on the line. Let's see if we can get them in the right order. Right, so Elise has put them on the line and we'll see if she's put them in the right order. Shall we give them a read? What have we got? Is, doesn't sound like the right start to me, will, also, with a full stop, where, part, for, capital letter Elise, be, your, your, <laughs> Matthew 6, 21, treasure, there. I think that's wrong Elise. What do you think? Mm, we'll change it around. So I think we've got them in the right order now. We'll give them a read one more time. Can you join in with us this time as well? See if you can remember it too. So for where your treasure is, there your Heart will be also. And it's from Matthew 6, 21. So keep practicing this verse. Let us know if you've been practicing and the ways you've been trying to learn it. See you soon. How awesome is it that God loves us so much that he's put so much detail into creating us but also for this session, the tabernacle, Minecraft James, I don't know how you're able to do it, but each time you pull it off, thank you so much. <laughs> He's currently smiling at me. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us for the, our sixth session of the gold series. We've got one more next week, which is week seven. So for now, lots of love from all of us. Have an awesome week. And we are praying for each and every one of you. See you next week. God loves us so much. And what a great thing um, that James did with the... There's a watering can, where's a watering can, put it over your head, there's a watering can. <laughs> yes you can, a watering can. What do you call a boomerang that comes up? <laughs> <laughs> that won't come back. Start again, start again.